Naswitha, Ishiva, good evening and welcome to this Tom and Ben News United Kingdom special. Today is a sad day because former First Minister of Scotland Alex Salmond has died at the age of 69. He led the Scottish National Party between 1990 and 2000 and then again between 2004 and 2014 and was a prominent figure in the country's nationalist movement. The second time around, he used his mandate as First Minister to hold a referendum on Scottish independence in 2014. The Yes Scotland campaign was defeated and he resigned in the same year as a result. His deputy at the time, Nicola Sturgeon, su sorry, his deputy at the time, Nicola Sturgeon, succeeded him unopposed. A month after submitting his resignation to the late Queen, Salmond announced he would run for office in Westminster in the 2015 election in May. He won the Gordon seat. Unfortunately, he would lose that seat to the Conservatives just two years later. He was last seen giving a speech in North Macedonia earlier this morning, and it is understood that he died at some point after the event. Alex Salmond launched the Alapa Party in February of 2021, which is a new political party in what he described as a bid to build a supermajority for independence in the next Scottish Parliament, and which could also enable his own return into Hollywood into Holyrood. When he launched it on that Friday, he denied the new political force would rival the Scottish National Party, which he led for more than two decades. He insisted that the presence of other pro-independence parties in the Scottish Parliament would make the position of the Westminster government in London in refusing powers to hold a second independence referendum fundamentally weaker. He resigned from the SNP in 2018 following allegations of sexual harassment, but was cleared of all criminal charges following a trial in 2020. He married Moira McGlashan, who he met when they worked together at the Scotland office in 1981. They lived a private life in Strichen in Aberdeenshire. Two tributes now, and Scottish Labour leader Anna Sawa said Alex was a central figure in politics for over three decades, and his contribution to the Scottish political landscape cannot be overstated. Former SNP MP Joanna Cherry said that she was devastated to hear of the news, and that Alex Salmond was one of the most talented politicians of his generation, and by any measure, the finest First Minister that Scotland has had. Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer has paid tribute to Alex Salmond, calling him a monumental figure of Scottish and UK politics, who leaves behind a lasting legacy. And current leader of the opposition, Rishi Sunak, says, Alex Salmond was a huge figure in our politics. While I disagreed with him on the constitutional question, there was no denying his skill in debate or his passion for politics. May he rest in peace. So to recap briefly before we finish up, former First Minister Alex Salmond has died at the age of 69 after being taken ill in North Macedonia. It is understood he collapsed after delivering a speech earlier today. He formed the pro-independence Alapa Party in 2021 after resigning from the SNP three years earlier because of allegations of sexual harassment, which were cleared off in 2020. Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer has been leading tributes, calling him a monumental figure, and the Scottish Labour leader Anna Sawa says he was a central figure in Scottish politics for over three decades. We are yet to hear from the current um, First Minister, John Swinney, but when we do, we will bring it to you on 60 seconds later. That's the breaking news. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Please subscribe and see you on Monday.